We have team coverage on this this evening. Denver 7 Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson tracking the rainfall amounts in the mountains. And first we want to get to our Sloan Dickey who's in Larimer County tonight. And Sloan, the first warnings went out just before 7 because it's a Cameron Peak burn scar area. Things just escalated quickly. Yes, things escalated quickly and things are changing quickly as well. We're at Ted's place where that line is set up where people should not be crossing to head towards Poudre Canyon. Now, police were here about 15 minutes ago. They did move closer to Poudre Canyon to set up some lines there, but they say if you are in the area, you should not be using Colorado Route 14 to get into this area. It's still closed off. Now we're at a gas station where people evacuees were gathering some campers and some people that lived in the area were gathering. They said that they essentially had moments to evacuate when law enforcement and emergency crews came to their locations to leave some left with just simple valuables before they left. They sent us this video that you can take a look at here. Uh, it essentially shows the movement of the water. As you can see, that mudslide is essentially a slow moving bulldozer at this point. It picked up trees, debris, and has even damaged several homes. How many homes and to what extent they're damaged, we do not know. What we do know is the evacuation is still in effect between the entrance to Poudre Canyon on Colorado uh, of Route 14 here all the way up to Cameron Pass. That is about a 40 mile stretch of road and we just received word minutes ago that the evacuation has extended to the Jackson County line. So it goes even further than that. Power lines are also down and people are now waiting to see if their homes were spared. They said go now. Don't don't take anything. Just leave. Just get out. And that's pretty much what our neighbors did. Yeah. One of our neighbors is a firefighter and he came over and was knocking on doors before I got the call. And he said, I sent my wife and kids down. You better go. So I was like, OK. Now those floodwaters are continuing to move downstream and we received word that Highway 14 will remain closed until at least tomorrow. We've also received word that there's a potential that some bridges may be out. Now there is a Red Cross evacuation site at Cash La Poudre Middle School, so you can go there if you are an evacuee and don't have anywhere to stay. And if that is full, you can go to the Best Western in Fort Collins. They're offering $60 rooms for people who were evacuated from the area, so you can stay safe overnight there as well. We'll continue to keep you updated as this story continues to develop reporting live in Larimer County Sloan Dickey Denver 7. All right Sloan thank you so as you heard from from so many people this all happened very quickly and in fact I talked to Connie Archer of Archer's Poudre River Resort who said the rain just came pouring down the river started rising she described what she saw in the river. Lots of logs very large logs 100 foot tree uh, with roots intact um, I saw plywood, I saw hot water heater, refrigerator, um, and furniture coming down. So what are you thinking when you're seeing all of this, Connie? I'm just worried about my neighbors and, and uh, people up Canyon from me. Now the water level, she said, has since come down and because power is out, communication is difficult for neighbors trying to check on one another and she says she is worried. 